Having completed the forward push, we can now start working out the backward push. The backward push will help us to determine the latest start and the latest finish time of all activities. As the name implies, the backward push will start from finish to start. So this time around, we're moving backwards. We're going to start from activity K, and the first thing we're going to fill in is the latest finish time for activity K. So literally from back to front. The latest finish time for K is 44.83. To determine the latest start time, I'm now going to subtract 2 from 44.83. So 44.83 minus 2, that happens to be 42.83. You will notice that this is exactly the same as the earliest start and the earliest finish time, which means we don't have any slack time in activity K. And that also means that this activity is on the critical path. Let's move on to the next activity. Activity J will start in 42.83. Actually, the latest finish time is 42.83. 42.83 minus 4, that's 38.83, which again shows us that there's no slack time here. Now, the British tend to call slack time float, so if you hear the word float or slack, it's exactly the same thing. Moving on, I'm going to task H. So the latest finish time for H is 38.83. 38.83 minus 3, that's 35.83. And you will realize that here we do have some slack time. This means that activity H can either start in week 35.66 or we can start it at any point up to 35.83 and the project won't be delayed. Let's go to activity I. Activity I, just like activity H, has a latest finish time of 38.83. But 38.83 minus 3.17, that gives us a latest start time of 35.66. So once again, Activity I has absolutely no slack time. So, so far, this is our critical path. Moving on to Activity G. Now, this time I have a choice, actually. Should I choose 35.83 or 35.66? In this case, we're going to choose the smallest number. So as our mental reminder, if we're working with the bottom row, we choose the smallest number. So that's 35.66. 35.66 minus 2, that's 33.66. So once again, this activity is on our critical path. 33.66 minus 16, and that's exactly the same, 17.66. 17.66 minus 10.83, sorry, minus 6.83, and that's 10.83. So again, no slack time here. 10.83 minus 6.83, and that's 4. Before I complete activity A, let me just complete activities C and F, because this latest finish time will be dependent on either task. So, going back to F, our latest finish time was 33.66 minus 5, and that's 28. 0.66. So clearly here we have a lot of slack time. In fact, we can start um, in week 7.17 and if we started the same task F, if we start that in week 28.66, we'll still finish the project on time without any delays. Finally, 28.66 minus 3.17 and that will give us 25.49. So between 25.49 and 4, once again, I'm going to choose the smallest number, and that's 4. 
Now you will notice here that this number wasn't formatted correctly and I'll show you how to fix that. Basically it's a formatting issue because this is on the left hand side whereas we want it to be in the center and it's very important to be neat in your presentation. So I'm just going there and I'm going to center it and that's about it. 4 minus 4 and that's 0. So with that we finished our backward pass.